Hi everyone and welcome back to another installment of my camper van build. In this video we will be primarily concentrating on the wiring. Essentially these are all the items you will be needing to complete the job. Here are the tools and accessories you're going to be needing. So what we have here is a simplified diagram of what we're trying to achieve. The first thing to do is decide where you're going to want your electrical hookup. I went for going under the bonnet near the battery as it would just make life easier. Run both your cables through the bulkhead as shown here. The passenger seat will need to be removed for this part. Lift up the carpet and run the wires along the channeling on the floor. Make sure the cables will not get crushed when the seat gets put back. So what we're trying to do is run these wires down the channeling and behind the driver's seat. Now it's time to wire up the split charge relay. I was also going to be fitting an isolator switch. All this does is switches all the electrics off to the back when the vehicle is not in use. Please refer to the diagram above as the wiring in the video may look a little confusing. However, it is pretty straightforward. So this is what my setup looks like fully completed and wired up. I decided to put my leisure battery under the driver's seat. You may want to put it in a different location and that's completely fine, whatever works for you. Now that that part is done we will continue to run the wires to the back where they will meet up with the consumer unit and the fuse box. Whenever running cables through metal panels, always make sure you use rubber grommets to protect the wires from shorting out. This is the fuse box wired up. As you can see at the bottom, there's a live feed which comes from the isolator switch. You have your live output to any accessories you have, i.e. lights, fridge, etc. And the top part is all your earths. Connect one earth lead to the vehicle's body and this will earth the rest of the block as you can see in the fuse box. You can then go ahead and start wiring up your switches to all your accessories. This is just a simple diagram of how your switches should be wired up. And once again, this is another simple diagram on how to wire in your water tap. So now that the 12 volt wiring is pretty much done, it's time to move on to the 240 volt consumer unit. This diagram gives you a basic idea of how to wire this up. In the event that you do not feel confident enough to wire this up, then do please get a professional to do this part. This is my unit all wired up. You have one blue wire coming in from the engine bay as we saw earlier and the other blue wire goes to the external wall socket. The yellow and green wire is your earth. Decide where you want to put your wall sockets, 
preferably not too far away from your consumer unit. Once you have cut the hole in your unit or wherever you're going to put it, you can run the wire through and wire it up. This is what it looks like when everything has been wired up. I will eventually cover up all the exposed wires for safety and for a better appearance. Last but not least, we go back to under the bonnet where it all started and connect up our 12 volt DC wire and also our 240 volt hookup connector. The connector does have the live neutral and earth clearly marked out so make sure you follow this and wire it up correctly. Once wired up, attach it to the bulkhead so it is securely in place. And that's it, job done. I hope all that made a little bit of sense uh, and I hope it helps you into wiring up your van when the time comes.